Hey everybody, Mac and Damer here for OCR Kings. That is right, the authentic, the original, the <laughs> only all obstacles guys. That's yes, except right. no substitutes. At least that's what council keeps telling us. Maybe we'll talk about that and uh, later after we take their advice. But right now, tonight, we are really, really excited to talk about the 2024 Tri-State New York event which is coming up this weekend. That's we will be right. there for both days, for both events. That's right. And the map is up. It is. Look at this. Right. Yeah, a fancy display over here. So diving right in. Okay. Here it is for uh, the yeah. 8th and the 9th of June, 2024. This is at uh, Bethel, New York, with the Woodstock location. That's right. The... Uh, Spartan website lists this as like flat and great for first timers and uh, setting like a personal record. If yeah, you, right. You That's know, right. To looking to speed things up. I totally Spe agree. Especially right? looking at the map. And we have done this one in the past. So absolutely. Yeah, yeah, multiple I totally, times. totally agree. Totally agree. Um, you know, this year, as compared to when the first time we went, I don't think it was uh, a super as well. No, it, was it was just the sprint. Yeah. Yep, just the sprint only. Just the sprint. Yep. So uh, Spartan ha has listened. That's great. They uh, took our advice, though we didn't expressly give it to them. <laughs> exactly. We kept saying there needs to be more supers. Okay. You can fit a sprint. You can fit a super. So they did good for them. Um, you know, the benefit to the supers, if no one, you know, if somebody hasn't done one before, you get the signature cool obstacles. Get, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a cooler distance right off the it's bat. Like the, it was like, I think it's a perfect distance. I right. just yeah. I just start to get warmed up after like three miles in and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, sprint, sprint, and then you're done. You're yeah. done. There's the fire jump. But no, all right. Like super gives you just a little bit more running. But yes, you are absolutely right. Some very cool obstacles. Uh, that just don't make the sprint. Yep. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they should sprinkle them now and again through some sprints because uh, just to change things up. Yep. Maybe nah, inno innovate a little bit. That's change right. is good. Keep don't, people don't, interested. Yeah, don't, totally don't agree. Let, don't let things get too stale. But talking specifically about this location, and uh, one thing I remember from years past that we've done is it's kind of cool that there's history sprinkled around this whole area. So there's yeah. taped off spots where you can actually see, and they don't really describe what happens, but just the fact that there's history, there was something left from Woodstock. Uh, that's it's pretty it's, cool. So it's just it's to be a part cool. of history and to be able to run there and do a Spartan race. There is very cool. Absolutely. Totally agree. Speaking of Woodstock, here is like the the center. Yeah, you know, yep. it's like a, almost like a museum or whatever. And uh, you know, parkings over here, things that might have also been left over from Woodstock, nineteen sixty nine. There are porta potties directly <laughs> when you get out of the cars right there. Avoid those. They That's are uh, they are awful. They are just god awful. Uh, they're typically uh, much in Spartan fashion nicer porta potties in the venue. Save it. You you That's can right. save it. Don't don't especially, don't go as so as soon as you get out of the car. It's gross. Especially, it's really especially terrible. Saturday, they're in better condition. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. So, you know, yeah. you know. Speaking of parking, too, I heard uh, from a good source that uh, there's no primo parking. Damer, is that yeah, true? Didn't didn't see any of VIP parking. Always take a look. Sometimes certain venues that just pays to have and park close. This yeah. one's not too bad, but if you're parking way in the back there, it is a pretty long warm up. Yeah. In order over to, here, yeah, to get all the way across. through and down into the venue. It's like that's it's quite a haul. Yeah. Not terrible, uh, but not to, agreed. Not terrible. Yep. You know, and parking, at least in our experience, is completely and totally paved. Okay. So you're not going off into the woods or in the mud or into a field. It was pretty decent. You know, it's a good spot for a sit rep, which we we, we will be delivering after That's each right. event. But without further ado, we'll dive right into the map. You know, standard fare, you know, especially for the sprint, with the exception of just one little red dot over here. Interesting. Okay. That's right. yep. Everybody's getting hurdles, over walls, inverted wall, Z wall. Atlas carry. Her coist is early on. 
Interesting. Yeah. Even Z Wall was early on. That's yep. that tends to be kind of later Usually. later in the fair, but so it's interesting Sorry. to see it up up front. Smoke your arms maybe later yeah. on. Bucket carry. Look for the photographers over there. Monkey bars, a frame cargo, multi rig. Okay, multi rig in our experience <clears throat> also used to be at the end. Yes, that is true. They're saving a <laughs> they're saving one of their tough ones for the yeah. end. So now you'll, we'll, you'll see it. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like as far as the map maybe this is a typo they meant to put a blue dot there but plate drag right. ju just for yeah. the sprint guys well if you're looking at the map and you're looking at number 11 there it kind of looks like you peel off for the super loop and then when you come back and then when you come back it? you've you've missed it you've missed 11 so you kind of just pop right. up so that's possible either you may maybe you won't see it i know things tend to shift sometimes like you get there and and the course is tiny bit variant from what we're, we're, we're seeing here. But for the yeah. most part, it's close. And it was like just looking at how it starts, like at the first couple of obstacles, like spend some time in the woods. And it was like, come yeah. out in the field, back in the woods, in the field. And then you're a lot in the field and a lot of open, fast running. So that's definitely where you're talking this is uh, a we've nice done, area. We've done that yeah. in the past, and it's just wide open and Especially flat. right and here. Fast. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Everything That's... since this has been added with the super, this whole blue stretch to uh, to, to the lower left, that's new. So that's kind that's... of a new new terrain. I'll have to see what that's about. It looks like you do go back into the woods, even though it looks like it's a pretty straight shot out like and back. It, it looks pretty cool. And out here, you know, are just like what we were talking about, the signature cool options. Yeah, like, the, like yeah. I was like, if you're thinking, if you've done some sprints and you're going to move up or and you're not, or you're thinking, am I ready for a beast? The Super has these the great beast. options, like Twister. Yeah. It was right. like the box and, and Twister beaters, and Beater is a fun yeah. one, a cool one. Yeah. Stairway to Sparta. Stairway is to good. Sparta. Yeah. Yep. So if you're only doing the the sprint you're going to miss out on all of these really kind of cool ones yep. if you're doing a sprint for the first time here great location next year might be a great location to take on the super okay and you'll get all of these cool obstacles that right. perhaps you probably have not seen before all right so let's get to damer's punchline we're getting to the end <laughs> over here sandbag carry spear throw toward the end okay rope climb barbed wire crawl dunk wall Oh, it's got to be Helix. All um, right. So, yep. So you get out of the, the water from the dunk wall. Notice there's no rolling mud, or at least it's not listed. I wouldn't miss that. It's just been like a, a, one slip just, trench. Just, just a little ditch. This yeah. season, yeah. And then to make Helix uh, challenge, you're, you've are you got the wet hands and wet feet, and you've got to, all right, maybe. Maybe yep. they could put the helix under the dunk wall or just <laughs> in the hole where the water is and, and just fill it back in and, and, and leave it there. And it'll be a new artifact <laughs> out on the woodstock field. <laughs> More junk. All right. And then the slip ball and the fire jump. So pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty typical. Love this loop over here. Yeah, that's that's new. So it was like, don't have any uh, intel on that side. I d definitely one thing that I remember from, uh, races past remember like right when we start and you dip into the woods and then you went through some crazy like mud bog where people were losing their shoes yeah so that's that's right after obstacle one right there so it's definitely like right here right yeah it was like really shoe sucking uh pretty deep mud in that area so it was like and, and it looks like it goes to the exact same spot so just something to uh be mindful of the feet lace up the shoes a little bit harder it's Definitely, because like, looking at the weather for this weekend, looks like we're going to have a true East Coast, you know, quasi nor Northeast or an event. It's going to rain. Yep. It's going. It's going to yeah. rain. So whether it rains hard or not, I'm not sure. I didn't delve too deeply into the forecast, but definitely rain forecasted and that muddy area. That was like the only spot that was muddy. true muddy, and it was very muddy. So just interested to see uh, what that is and. And then even coming back on 22, that's just like a soft, smooshy spot as well. So they're doing a barbed wire crawl in that same boggy, wet area, which could be interesting. I can't wait. It's going to be really, really 
you know an exciting event for us it's relatively nearby and we tend to bump into some really yeah. really cool people who we're looking forward to connecting with out there um and hopefully you know if you're That's watching it. this video check in you know check in there check in you know in the comments below can't wait That's to see it. you guys all out there if you haven't done so already please like and subscribe it really does help to grow and uh you know increase the uh the width and breadth and reach of this channel it's greatly appreciated as well and uh you know we have to mention too we've started a countdown to some special news that we hope to share with everybody uh definitely check out the countdown thing that's going on right. out there on the channel and beyond collect some clues and uh i think you're going to be able to win some prizes if you can report those back to us more rules and stuff on that <laughs> as we go and we'll make it easier yeah. for people to access those but check out the countdown uh some cool stuff is on the way and again remember as always train hard have fun